Good morning, everybody. Pastor Stitch, Narrow Path Christian Church, BC, Bay City, Michigan. Welcome to the Biker Devotional. So this morning, reading in Proverbs chapter 1, because today is April 1st, 2023. I read this verse. In verse 28, They will call out to me, but I won't answer. They will search for me, but I won't, won't find me. Have you ever read verses in the Bible like that and gotten angry with God? Verses like that tend to do that because they get taken all by themselves. I can tell you in my reading of Scripture, and I'm not a biblical theologian, um, but my time spent, and considerable time spent reading the Word, I can tell you that words like that are never shared without the reason why. First and foremost, Solomon is long after God gave all of the law. Solomon is a king in Israel who was commanded by God to have written the entirety of the law and keep it as a copy for himself and to read it every day. That's the requirement for a king. So he knows what God's commands are, and he knows the consequences for not following the commands because God shared those. So when we read verses like this where Solomon is talking to his son, and he says, they will call on me, but I won't answer. They will search for me, but won't find me in verse 28. Even he gives more than that. Just a few verses before that, in verse 23, it says, If you respond to my warning, then I will pour out my spirit on you and teach you my words. Since I called out and you refused to extend your hand and no one paid attention. Since you neglected all my counsel and did not accept my correction. I, in turn, will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when terror strikes you, when terror strikes you like a storm, and your calamity comes like a whirlwind. When trouble and stress overcome you, then they will call me, but I won't answer. They will search for me, but won't find me. He goes on and gives the reason why again. Because they hated knowledge and didn't choose to fear the Lord were not interested in my counsel and rejected all my correction. They will eat the fruit of their way and be glutted with their own schemes. You see, what he's saying here is he's going to treat them and show them what they did. Have you ever been at a store where a kid is just screaming and yelling and just having a tantrum and the mom just starts screaming too? Maybe not, because in the world we live in today, that would be looked at and looked down on. But those kids tend to learn lessons pretty quickly. God treats us the way we treat him. If we honor him, respect him, listen to him, take his judgment, look to him, and chase after the knowledge that he wants to give, he's going to be right there taking care of us, giving us everything we need. But if we make the choice to throw him away, and then we come to him like a magic genie, he's going to stand back and say, I gave you the warning that this was going to come. He gave you the warning. What are you going to do with it? You're going to choose to listen to him right now while you got a chance. Or are you going to experience the destruction that you asked for? The good news this side of the cross, this side of Resurrection Sunday, which happened over 2,000 years ago, but we celebrate every year is that after the calamity, 
we still had the opportunity to choose to listen and turn towards him. It's an important thing to remember every day. It's a thing I have to remember every day. I have to choose to live the resurrection side of the cross, which means his will and his way. Or I can live the other side of the cross, the Old Testament side of the cross, and live in my will and my way. How about you? What are you going to choose today? I love you all. Hope you have a great day. God bless.